So that takes us to tab six, appointments. There's two items under the appointments for board approval. The first one being brought forward by the chairman is the board of commissioners approve the appointment of Mr. George to the South Cobb Bay Development Authority for a four-year period expires that expires July 31st, 2019. This appointment will be replaced by Robin Meyer, who we thank for her service and to reappoint Dara Watkins for a four-year term to expire on December 31st, 2019, and Mr. Kessel for a four-year term to expire on July, 20, uh, July 31, 2019. Is there a second for that motion? Second. Is there a second? Any comments? Mr. Mr. Wright. Yes, Mr. Chairman, as I um, mentioned today during the agenda meeting, I, I have a concern as to how this whole process works and think that the four county positions should be delineated as to what areas or expertise they uh, should represent um, and so I cannot support these appointments at this time okay Commissioner Cupid yes thank you um, forgive me because I don't have my phone up here I think it's out there with, with some of my notes in it um, I have expressed my concern um, to the board with respect to agenda item number one which addresses appointments to the South Cobb Redevelopment Authority. The um, authority was created, um, I believe, back in 20, well, 2012 or prior to my being on the board. And the majority of those appointments are still present on the board. The majority of those appointments have primary interest or residents in the Mableton area or may have businesses there and do work there. Right now I'm very concerned because the primary work of this authority pertains to the Six Flags Hostel area. And the only representation that's from there is from um, Mr. Dale Ketzel, who's the president there. But I have found that with the work that's going on that deals with the families that are in the Six Flags area, that those who are present on the board have proved themselves to be um, significantly um, insensitive to or oblivious to the um, concerns and dynamics of the Six Flags Austell area. Um, to address that, I presented, which will be present, um, presented after this agenda item, it's agenda item number two, to appoint Herschel Tolson, who has a um, daycare in the area and deals with many of the families in that area and who's um, very active in coming to meetings and, and addressing the board. I um, was talking to additional people to provide, to um, sit on the board, but um, I was under the impression from my communication with the clerk's office that the deadline um, had already passed for presenting an agenda item. And so I was surprised to see the additional people being offered here today. I would just ask for us to hold off on voting this on this today because for one, there was no communication with the South Cobb Commissioner with respect to these items for appointing people to the South Cobb Redevelopment Authority, which I think is significantly odd. Um, I also think it's pretty insensitive um, after my correspondence with this board and a public meeting and talking about changing these board members um, for the concerns not to be addressed and making sure that there are people on this board who are reflective of the entire um, geographic scope of the South Cobb Redevelopment Authority. On multiple occasions, myself, staff, and area nonprofit, um, and I believe others have addressed, have actually talked to the South Cobb Redevelopment Authority and asked for, in their decision making, for them to be sensitive to the area residents of the South Cobb Redevelopment Authority. Every suggestion that we've provided, both financial and non financial, was turned down. This is resulting in many residents who are going to be displaced, who um, are under the burden of being displaced during the holiday season, which I believe with some sensitivity in being a member of the community or active in the community or sensitive to the community and the circumstances of that community um, would have resulted in different decision making. I don't believe that, um, as was shown here earlier today, that, um, that I have the ability to overcome some of the, um, the, what I have found to be, um, I won't even call it momentum, but there seems to be an ear to make decisions without full inclusion and to, um, and to do things without, I, I mean, even just to do things without being, without listening 
or being sensitive to the issues on the table. And I believe that approving this agenda item is going to continue that tonight. My ask for the board is for us to, um, again, delay the um, agenda item and, and for it to be heard in January. So there's consideration of what I think is a very strong suggestion that Commissioner Ott put on the table, which is for the four board post positions, I mean, for the four board positions to be considered and to be um, assessed as a post position where we at least look at the qualifications of each person that's representing the BOC appointment. Um, so that's my suggestion. Thank you, Commissioner Weatherford. Thank you. Uh, having some experience with redevelopment authorities, uh, having come from uh, the city of Ackworth for 12 years where you had a downtown development authority and various other authorities, I'm pretty familiar with uh, the way they do. While I can agree with some things such as uh, Commissioner Cupid, Commissioner Ott saying that uh, certain segments or certain subject matter experts can be selected, I think that might be a good idea. We did that in the city that so many had to be uh, residents or business owners, et cetera, et cetera, and I don't see that in this particular case. But having said that, I have reviewed all these, and I think these are uh, excellent candidates and therefore would support them. Uh, I think that we're confusing the issues somewhat in that the residents that Commissioner Cupid is speaking of are in a uh, apartment community that they are uh, relocating and eventually will be tearing down and marketing for redevelopment that area, which is sorely needed. Uh, a lot of those residents are on month-to-month -month leases, which tells me they're not planning on being permanent residents in Cobb County anyway. The uh, Ackworth Housing Authority and the Marriott Housing Authority have merged for many years, and the Marriott Housing Authority has run many, many of these relocations in the past, including several while I was on the board there, and I've known them to understand the laws and the rules and regulations of Section 8 the DCA. A and all the other different organizations. I have utmost faith in them, and I think that uh, they're doing what is within the right way to do it. So, uh, having said that, uh, I uh, wanted to tell you that those particular three uh, I'm in support of. Any other comments? Call the question. Motion carries 3 2 with Commissioner Kamuka and Commissioner Ott in opposition. I believe that concludes that matter, Councilor. Thank you.